Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you, I appreciate it. So today I am here with a haul, but a haul of a different nature. So I have spent the past month, about a month now I think, relocating all of my office stuff into my garage. And in the midst of that, I took a break from sourcing. I still had a lot of stuff left over from my recent trip to Los Angeles and Denver. And so I still had inventory to list, but I'm now starting to come up a little dry. And so I decided to source my house. Have you ever done this? Let me know in the comments down below, I'm curious. But sourcing your house can be a great place to find inventory, you know? Stuff that maybe you're no longer using or you used to use and it's a value to somebody else. So that's exactly what I did. And so I grabbed a few things throughout my house that I wanted to show you guys that I'm gonna be listing and how you can basically pay zero dollars and get, I, I totaled up what I think I'll get. And I think I will get around $375 Obviously I could get a little bit less and a little bit more, but that's kind of my average. So with all that said, let's get started. So the first item, this is actually from my own closet, but it's this purse, it's really cute. It's a lemon purse and I had purchased it a number of years ago, but I just never used it. So it's technically new with tags, no tags. I don't know what you wanna say. It does have the crossbody strap in here again. You know, it's like I never used it, so it's all new. I guess I'll list it new without tags. Uh, but this bag is from Just Fab, and I don't know, I thought I would use it, and I just didn't. Sorry, I'm saying like I didn't use it, but I'm probably gonna say that about a lot of this stuff because it's stuff from my home and I didn't use it. So I ran comps on this, and I couldn't find any sold listings on eBay. How I, however, I did find sold listings on Poshmark. And so the solds that I found, I think that I'll probably be able to get maybe around 38 for this. So we'll see, but that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, the next item I have, so this one kind of popped into my life just this last minute, but I was over visiting with my mom and she said, hey, I've got this Ferragamo sunglasses case. It's brand new, it's never been used. Do you want it? <laughs> which, you know, to sell. And I was like, uh, yeah, she knows me. So anyways, it comes with, whoa, it comes with the box. It's got the paperwork, case, the little um, sunglass wiper cleaner. So I ran comps on this and a similar one that had all of these pieces here will get me maybe around $33, I'm thinking. So, and that was a sold listing that I did find on eBay. I'm just gonna set that there. <laughs> okay, the next item, this was actually in my kitchen. So it is sleepy time tea. There we go. So I actually have like five boxes of this that I've never used. I don't know, apparently at some point in my life, I thought I needed these and now that is no longer the case. So uh, a three pack sold, uh, I think it was like $13. So that's about like four something a box. So I think for all five of them, Hopefully I'll get around 20 bucks, maybe more. These ones also have like, I don't think they always come like this, but they have like this free lip balm inside. So if they don't sell, I'll just take the lip balms out of all of them and I will keep them. I think I did keep a few at one point, but it's kind of cool. It's like a little sleepy time lip balm, but I don't remember the chapstick knocking me out by any means. So that's what these are. What's the next item I have? Okay, um, I have some swimsuits. So. These are swimsuits that I maybe only wore once or twice. I was gonna, gonna check if they were like new, but they just didn't work out for me for one reason or another. So these I purchased from Amazon and I have sold similar ones. My dogs are barking in the background, sorry. But I have sold similar ones and I usually get around like 15 bucks for these. So that's what I'm hoping to get. So 15, 15 for this one. And then I have a swim skirt, which the brand on this one is Island Escape. So hopefully 15, maybe 10 on that one. Obviously I could get a little bit more, but that's my guesstimate. And then I have these swimsuits that I never wore that are swimsuits for all. This is actually, they make really nice swimsuits and they're not cheap. This one does have the tag on it. This one's a size 10 
and I'm thinking I could probably get around, what did I say? Mm, oh, maybe like 30 for each one, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure, so. And I have another one. This one does also have a tag, it just fell off and it's in the bin, but anyways. It's this one here, has straps, and this one is a size 14. Funny how my sizes grew. <laughs> Okay, the next item I have is this moisturizing cream sleeping mask. This was actually given to me by a neighbor. She gave me a bunch of beauty stuff, and this was one of the items that I never used. So I thought, well, I'll sell this because that seems like a good idea. And I looked up comps, and I couldn't find one exactly for this, but I'm hoping to get maybe like five bucks. If I got more, that would be cool also. But five dollars is kind of what I would expect if I can get anything for it. So... Okay, the next item are these Quay Australia sunglasses. So I had actually ordered a couple extra of these when I got them in a Just Fab box. I think I ordered like a couple extra pairs and I thought to myself like I'll sell these and I, th I think I only paid like $10 each for them. So these are the Vivian and they're the gold rose rose gold lens. And for these I'm thinking I'll get about $29. So that was based on similar comps that I looked up. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm like, don't break them. Okay, next item I have is this. So these are Olay Facial Hair Removal Duo something. This was something given to me by my mom a long time ago. I don't know what she's trying to tell me. Um, however, I've never used it because for in terms of facial hair removal, I just don't use this. I have other methods, but these are actually really valuable and I only found that out or knew this from following um, this gal named Jen she's local to my area and her Instagram username is tra uh, travel to thrift I'll link it down below and she's a great person to follow for her goods or beauty products anyways uh, I had known from following her that these were highly sought after and paid out a pretty penny so I've been sitting on this for a little while just because I know that it's worth a lot of money so anyway, I finally looked up comps on this and this should get me about $61 and mine is brand new. It is sealed. I mean, maybe I can get a little bit more for it, but 61 is kind of like the average sold price for it. Okay. The next one is an item I think most of us can find in our house, maybe, but it's Legos. There's a bunch of Legos in here and they're just random. These are just like odds and ends pieces. And these were my husband's uh, when he was a kid. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's a Lego. But anyways, I did look up, because I had seen before that you can sell Legos by the pound in big bulk lots. People don't really care what the pieces are. They just want Legos. And so anyways, I looked up sold lots, and of course all the poundage is like varying because, you know, people might have 16 pounds, they might have 20 pounds, they might have three pounds, et cetera, et cetera. But just kind of doing like a quick breakdown, I think based upon, and that was like about four pounds, I think I can get, maybe get around 40 bucks. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. But if you just have random Legos in your life, up in an attic somewhere, weigh them out, take a picture of them and sell them because if you're not using them, they're gonna be worth money. Okay, next, and obviously those are from the 90s as well because they were my husband's. So if they're older, obviously they can go for a little bit more. Okay, this is just another random item. I think this was something that maybe my mom had purchased for my son and he already had one of these. So sorry, mom, I'm gonna sell this because duh, that makes sense. <laughs> but I looked this up and I think I'll probably get about like 950 for it. That was the average sold price on a new one that I could find. So it's just like a Hot Wheels Darth Vader car. Some of these are actually, some can be worth a lot of money. Um, not this Hot Wheels car necessarily. I mean, this one is probably... 950 is probably what it went for in the store. That could be a little bit more. I mean, that does seem a little expensive because some Hot Wheel cars, I don't know, are like a dollar. I see them at the checkout. <laughs> okay, next item. This is a really random one, but again, just going through, I went in through my bathroom and looked at like beauty products. What sort of beauty products do I have? And I found this old curler set that I have. And you know, my hair is long again and I probably could use this, but I have one of those wand curlers that I kind of like and really accomplishes the same thing. And I feel like I just never use these, okay? So anyways, they are in really great condition. I believe I have all like the little clamps to whatever, hold them on. And so for that, 
Uh, the comps were about 15 bucks, so you know, not anything crazy, and 15 is probably not too far off from what I paid, but I'll take it. That's great for me. All right. Lastly, I have a piece of medical equipment. Okay, so this is a nebulizer, and this was my son's. Now, uh, we don't need to use this anymore. We used it when he was a baby, and he couldn't use an inhaler. This I don't know if I got for free, I, some sort of free. They delivered it to my house when he was like a little baby. It was weird. Like they, we went to the doctor and they prescribed him one and then they brought it to our house. I've never had that happen in my entire life. I think I remember them telling me that was going to be the case. But anyways, I'm rambling now, but that's a nebulizer. And I looked up comp, comps, people are selling them. And I think I'll probably get about 19 to 20 bucks for it. So again, not anything too high, but... I don't need it in my house anymore and if people are out there and they're looking for the, all of any of this stuff then by all means take it I would love to make the money on it so these are just some of my examples of like weird random stuff $61 that you could be selling and you don't even have to spend a dime maybe you've done all of this already let me know in the comments are you one of those people who's already cleared out their house that's actually one of the greatest ways to get into reselling right that's how a lot of people just fall into it they start selling items from their house but let me know down below have you sold everything in your house and that's why you have to thrift now <laughs> i'm hoping to get to that point i still definitely have a lot of things in my house that i can sell so again like i said in my last video maybe this will be a new series Hmm, that could be fun. I do like spending zero dollars and making money. So <laughs> anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.